either way, Santiago Aspinall is, is in the conversation, and he should be there. And he is here and joining us now from Seattle. Santiago, thank you so much, and congratulations for, for being in that conversation. Although, like, runners-up is for losers. You want to be at the game with the greatest players in the game because you have been such so far this year. I, 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 I led this block by saying, you know, it, it's been an outbreak of a season for you. It's been surprising for many. Has it been surprising for you? Are you surprised about the numbers you've put up, or is this exactly what you expected to produce? No, you know, this is exactly what I expected. You know, I work really hard in the offseason, and, um, you know, I can't prepare for, the, uh, for spring training and for the season. And, you know, I'm just ready for it. And, you know, it's funny. The front office has, has quietly been saying, the guy that you should really be watching in terms of taking that next step is you, is Espinal, which was somewhat interesting considering what your usage was in the past. For you to have that support from the manager to management, what does that mean? You know, it means a lot, especially uh, to have their back and, you know, just come out here every day and put in the work and, and show the team that I can do the little things right. And every day I come in uh, to compete and, and win every game. Kevin made a great point as we were setting you up coming on about it's not just the offensive numbers that we see because those pop off the page. In the field, defensively, you're saving runs. How much has it helped you to be able to really focus at second base and, and playing that position and learning that craft? Because because of your versatility, you're someone who's utilized in the past all over the park. But now with Chapman owning third, you can really run out to second base every day. Uh, yeah, you know, just uh, now that I only have to focus on, on one position, which is second base, it's just I put in the work every day to um, make sure that I get there and really work with uh, with Lewis, our, our infield coach, and, you know, uh, getting over there and learning more about, about second baseman every day, um, you know, it's helped me a lot, especially having Chapman uh, out there in the corner. He's uh, He has helped me a lot, too, you know, stuff that he knows about fielding and uh, Having him here, it, it means a lot, you know, and um, I learned a lot from him and uh, especially from Louis too, getting all the work in and, uh, you know, making sure that I stay consistent every day. You know, we were caping for Manoa and Kirk to start the All-Star game, but you guys potentially could have a squad. Like, the, the PJ might be pretty full uh, for the All-Star game with six of you as finalists. What would that mean to be there with a bunch of your brothers? Oh, man, uh, it'll, it'll probably be like a dream come through, you know, uh, from, you know, from a little kid now over here and then playing with your brothers, you know, uh, it's going to mean a lot, especially we're going to have a lot of fun over there. And, uh, you know, it's going to mean a lot, especially playing here with your brothers and, you know, it's people that you see every day, but they're basically my family. So, like, sharing the field with them in L.A. would be awesome. Well, you're on the West Coast right now in Seattle, and you haven't experienced it yet, but I'm sure you may have heard stories from some of your teammates. What have you heard about the Canadian contingent that comes through uh, the West Coast to support the team on the road as if it's a home game? I heard a lot, and uh, honestly, it's going to be my first time experiencing that today. And um, they say that it's going to be like playing at home in Toronto. So I can't wait for that, and I can't wait for the fans to show up, and I'll be ready for it. The game means a lot, not just because of that atmosphere, but because of the wild card standings and how well Seattle has played coming in to this series. Does this feel, you know, already still early in the season, like, like a bigger than normal series for the team? Oh, yeah, it feels. I mean, I, I feel like every every series feels a, a, a lot for us, you know, especially now that we're here in Seattle. And, you know, it's, it's going to be fun playing in front of our uh, uh, our fans in Toronto, too, because they're going to be here, too. So, um, you know, it's going to feel like a playoff game, honestly. And, uh, you know, we just got to go out there and compete and, and try to get the series. And lastly, before we let you go, what's your assessment on the season thus far and where you are? I mean, the, the AL East is, is stacked, and so certainly you're, you're fighting in division <laughs> in the heart of the wild card race. But the season has been somewhat up and down in terms of the consistency. But yet, I, I think people would take where you are if, if this is what they kind of learned to start the year that you'd be in the heart of the wild card race. Within the room, how, how do you guys feel about the way that you're playing right now? 
you know, uh, we have our ups and downs, and uh, well, you know how you know how baseball works, and like you know, there's a lot of game left. Uh, I feel like we still got time. We still got time to improve, and every day we just we can't be worrying about where we are. We can't be worrying about how how, how we're playing right now. We just got to go out there and play with our hearts. Play, play, go out there and, and compete. You know. Um, Try to win every game. Yeah, I just worry about playing. I just worry about we're here. We just gotta go out and focus on one game at a time. And I feel like that's gonna take us to to where we want to. Well, you've done that personally quite well. Don't worry about the All Star Game because Blue Jays fans have your back, whether they're on the West Coast or the East Coast. They'll get on Twitter, on on their phones, and on their laptops and get you in. Enjoy this process and continue to play great baseball. Thanks for taking the time. Thanks for having me. Thank you, the fans in Toronto, too. Thank you, guys.